Welcome back to the channel. Today I've got the 2023 M5 competition. It is an individual purple silk, which looks really fantastic on the M5 in my opinion. So this is the last of the current gen M5s, last of the pure V8 twin turbo engine V8s, be replaced by a plug-in hybrid version for the next generation. Let's talk about this one in particular. So individual paint, fantastic. So normally it's gonna be $5,000, but because we have the 50th anniversary of Indian and emblems, as paint qualifies, it's a $750 discount. So a good savings, 750 bucks down to 42.50 for the paint. So this one's lightly specced. Uh, obviously competition package included. We got our standard headlights as well. So revised in 2021, I think it was. So a pretty aggressive front bumper. Lots of air intakes. There's no driving assistance professional package. Even did not get the parking assistance package, even though I thought I did, but apparently not. Well, let's take in purple silk, which is gorgeous. So it's a lot more purple than say techno violet or Daytona violet. Now, originally, I think when we had the Tanzanite blue M5 on, that was originally supposed to be Daytona Violet with smoke white interior. At the time of ordering, this is one of our first M5 allocations for 23. Smoke white interior was not available, so we had to compromise, we ended up with Silverstone. Let's take a look at the side here. So on the side we have style 799M wheels. And pretty good looking, bi-color. And we have the blue M Sport calipers. So could have gone with red. I think might have clashed a little bit, at least in my mind, uh, with purple silk. Could also gone with black, but I think blue is a nice compromise. Got the fifth anniversary being the emblems on the center caps. We also won the tire lottery, so ended up with Michelin Pilot Sport Forest tires. Let's take purple silk in outside of the direct sunlight. So much darker on this side of the car without the sunlight hitting the metallic flaking. So it looks more violet than purple. And we also have the M Performance side sills, locker panel type thing going on there. It's a little bit more contrast with the purple silk. Out back, we have our M5 Competition logo slash emblem in black. Got our quad exhaust, reminiscent, a hallmark of BMW M. Unfortunately, did not get the M Performance exhaust when I was specking this car and a few other M5s that had been allocated to us. We did not have the opportunity to add the M Performance exhaust for 23. Maybe that's changed, but as of now, so we got now here's our purple silk in that direct sunlight. Fantastic purple hue. I know purple is probably not going to be for a lot of you guys out there, but it's a way to be bold and different. But let's take a look at the inside and go over pricing and options. So we have our M style mirror caps. Not even fistable, even a little bit. Sorry, Matt Watson. So opening up, we have our Silverstone full merino leather. So a fantastic contrast with the purple silk. Now, of course, you could have gone with a brown, so gone with a peanut butter and jelly spec. Or even bolder secure orange. I think if Kalabi Orange was available on this, I probably would have spec'd it that way. So we got our seat controls here. So your crumb catcher control seats movement back and then of course you have the tilt on the back here for that one lumbar support and adjustable side bolsters as well a little bit closer look at the m5 seats let me zoom out so very nice bolstering very comfortable seats of course this would have been killer if they were carbon buckets all right so inside i drive seven live cockpit no surprises there Got our M1 and M2 buttons in red. So 
the trim is carbon aluminum structure. I think that's what they call it. But pretty nice light color to go along with the silver stone. Now, of course, we have our gear selector, which I imagine is going to still be there for the next generation, given what's on the M3. All your controls over here. So that button, of course, is replaced, replacing all those other buttons over here for steering, suspension, etc. The M mode button. iDrive controller. So yeah, no parking assistance package on this one. I don't know what happened there in terms of me perhaps forgetting to put it on there. But our iDrive 7 screen. All right, so let's talk about pricing. So the starting price, the M5, is $107,900. The purple silk metallic paint, another $4,250. The silver stone leather, $3,500. Or some competition package for $7,600. Everything else included, and we did add a couple of things here. We got the door projector for $160. The walker panels for a 275 then you got your gas color tax as well all told msrp of just under one hundred twenty six thousand dollars. so pretty big price but you get a lot for your money in the m5 comp and then we've got our tri-color stitching here on the steering wheel all right so back seat nice and roomy and we'll get in all right, so with the driver's seat where I have it normally set for me, plenty of leg room. So that four zone, or let's me, zones three and four in the back here for passengers. That USB-C charging ports at the bottom there. So, all right, so headroom wise, plenty of headroom, plenty of leg room, not much to complain about in the back seat of the M5. I think what would have been the great thing would have had those carbon buckets at the back. Actually, technically they weren't carbon bucks. They were bucket seats in the back. Like the M5 CS, that would have been a no-brainer. But f room for five people all together. Very comfortable ride. All right, we'll take a look at the trunk as well. So kick to open is back, of course. So a pretty good-sized trunk. There's no extra compartment underneath there. So I'll kick the clothes as well. Nice feature to have back on there. And we'll take in purple silk one more time. So again, powered by the 4.4 liter S63 engine, 617 horsepower, 553 pound-feet of torque. It is quite the engine and quite a powerful car. Super fun to drive on the track. So you have the opportunity to go to the Performance Center or M Track Days. You'll get to drive one of these, hopefully, for next year for M Track Days. But fantastic color, fantastic M5. This is the last of its kind. So next gen M5 should come out probably in 2024. It will most likely be a plug-in hybrid with a new S68 motor. And who knows how much horsepower, but it's going to be substantially more than 617 for sure with a hybrid setup. But that's it for a quick tour around purple silk m5 and we'll see you at the next video